decisions, I calculate some number. And I measure your brain when you're sleeping, I measure your brain when you're awake and solving a problem, and I, me I measure your brain under anesthesia. And it turns out that that number that I calculated, I say, wow, look at that. That number's high when you're waking and solving a problem, and it's near zero when you're under anesthesia or sleeping. And so this is sometimes called the neural correlates approach to consciousness. I'll tell you what it is. It just says that there's some formalism that allows you, you to- You found measure. a correlation. Right. You found a correlation, right? And, and maybe that's useful, right? If you go under anesthesia and you're gonna have your big toe removed, I'd rather that thing was near zero than at its maximum. So, but that's sort of the best of it. Um, when it comes to actually theories of what it is, honestly, qualitatively, it seems to be something about the tiny little attention window that the human brain has to operate on large sets of data. And just to be explicit about this, every mathematician knows that every hard problem is solved by their unconscious mind. Right? There is a very famous book written on this by someone called Hadamard, and it's called The Mathematician's Mind. And he interviewed everyone, he interviewed Einstein, Poincaré, looked at the journals of Gauss, and they all say the same thing. They say, you know, it's a really hard problem. The best thing I can do is think about it and then stop thinking about it. 